Poems Every Child Should Know. Edited by Mary E. Burt. Section 12. Read for LibriVox.org by Kara Schallenberg. This section contains the following poems. The Butterfly and the Bee. An Incident of the French Camp. And Robert of Lincoln. Part 2. Continued. THE BUTTERFLY AND THE BEE The Butterfly and the Bee, by William Lyle Bowles, 1762-1850, is recommended by some schoolgirls. It carries a lesson in favour of the worker. Methought I heard a butterfly say to a labouring bee, Thou hast no colours of the sky on painted wings like me. Poor child of vanity, those dyes and colours bright and rare, with mild reproof, the bee replies, are all beneath my care. Content I toil from morn to eve, and scorning idleness, to tribes of gaudy sloth I leave the vanity of dress. William Lyle Bowles An Incident of the French Camp An Incident of the French Camp by Robert Browning, 1812-1889, is included in this volume out of regard to a boy of eight years who did not care for many poems, but this one stirred his heart to its depths. You know, we French stormed Ratisbon a mile or so away. On a little mound Napoleon stood on our storming day. With neck out thrust, you fancy how, legs wide, arms locked behind, as if to balance the prone brow oppressive with its mind. Just as perhaps he mused, My plans that soar to earth may fall, Yet let once my army leader Lannis Waver at yonder wall. Out twixt the battery smokes there flew A rider bound on bound, full galloping, Nor bridle drew until he reached the mound. Then off there flung in smiling joy And held himself erect, By just his horse's mane, a boy, You hardly could suspect. So tight he kept his lips compressed, Scarce any blood came through. You looked twice, ere you saw his breast was all but shot in two. Well, cried he, Emperor, by God's grace, we've got you Ratisbon. The marshal's in the market-place, and you'll be there anon, to see your flag-bird flap his vans, where I, to heart's desire, perched him. The chief's eye flashed, his plans soared up again like fire. The chief's eye flashed, but presently softened itself, as sheathes a film the mother eagle's eye when her bruised eaglet breathes. You're wounded. Nay, the soldier's pride, touched to the quick, he said, I'm killed, sire. And his chief beside, smiling, the boy fell dead. Robert Browning Robert of Lincoln Robert of Lincoln by William Cullen Bryant, 1794-1878, is one of the finest bird poems ever written. It finds a place here because I have seen it used effectively as a memory gem in the Cook County Normal School, Colonel Parker's school, year after year, and because my own pupils invariably like to commit it to memory. With the child of six to the student of twenty years, it stands a source of delight. Merrily swinging on briar and weed, near to the nest of his little dame, over the mountain-side or mead, Robert of Lincoln is telling his name. Bubblink, bubblink, spink, spank, spink. Snug and safe in this nest of ours, hidden among the summer flowers. Chee, chee, chee. Robert of Lincoln is gaily dressed, wearing a bright black wedding coat. White are his shoulders and white his crest. Hear him call in his merry note. Bubblink, bubblink, spink, spank, spink. Look what a nice new coat is mine! Sure, there was never a bird so fine! Chee, chee, chee! Robert of Lincoln's Quaker wife, pretty and quiet, with plain brown wings, passing at home a patient life, broods in the grass while her husband sings. Bubblink, bubblink, spink, spank, spink! Brood, kind creature, you need not fear thieves and robbers while I am here. Chee, chee, chee! Modest and shy as a nun is she. One weak chirp is her only note. Braggart and prince of braggarts is he, Pouring boasts from his little throat. Bobolink, bobolink, spink, spank, spink, Never was I afraid of man. 
"'Catch me, cowardly knaves, if you can. "'Chee, chee, chee!' Six white eggs on a bed of hay, "'flecked with purple, a pretty sight. "'There, as the mother sits all day, "'Robert is singing with all his might. "'Bobolink, bobolink, spink, spank, spink. "'Nice good wife that never goes out, "'keeping house while I frolic about. "'Chee, chee, chee!' Soon as the little ones chip the shell, six wide mouths are open for food. Robert of Lincoln bestirs him well, gathering seeds for the hungry brood. Bobolink, bobolink, spink, spank, spink. This new life is likely to be hard for a gay young fellow like me. Chee, chee, chee. Robert of Lincoln at length is made sober with work and silent with care. Off is his holiday garment laid, half forgotten that merry air. Bobolink, bobolink, spink, spank, spink. Nobody knows but my mate and I where our nest and our nestlings lie. Chee, chee, chee! Summer wanes, the children are grown, fun and frolic no more he knows. Robert of Lincoln's a humdrum drone, off he flies and we sing as he goes. Bobolink, bobolink, spink, spank, spink. When you can pipe that merry old strain, Robert of Lincoln, come back again. Chee, chee, chee! William Cullen Bryant End of section 12. Read by Kara Schallenberg on October 12, 2006, in Oceanside, California.